rearrange my workspace. The reason why I kind of have a set schedule. <laughs> what a cute family photo. Good morning friends and welcome back to another vlog. I think this vlog is going to be a compilation of a few days in my life because I don't think I'm going to have enough time to vlog all day today but I definitely definitely wanted to kick off this vlog by just kind of showing you guys what my process is when I'm filming. This is something that I love to watch in other people's vlogs too, you know people who tend to juggle both a full-time job and content creation so yeah I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of like a behind the scenes look into what it's like to create content and what actually goes on behind every single video like the process is actually a lot harder and takes a lot longer than you may think. I'm actually running a little bit behind schedule. It's already 1.30 and I wanted to be filming already by one. So I'm just quickly gonna curl my hair and put myself together, do a little bit of makeup and I should be good to go. So we're about to get into that now. So hair looks like it's done, a little bit messy. I'll probably retouch it before I film, but now I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm not gonna record that because I'll be here forever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it off camera and I'll be right back. Wah! Woo! Okay, so makeup is done. I just did something super, super simple. I don't know if you guys could. See, I used a darker blush today and I really, really like it. But anyway, it's three o'clock now. I'm a little bit late. So I have to start setting up my equipment. So we're gonna do that. The reason why I kind of have a set schedule on when to film is because one, I like to film when Steven's not home because I just, you know, I'm still a little bit shy around him sometimes. So I like to film my sit down videos when he's not home. Um, second of all, I like to film before the sun goes down because I like to use a lot of natural lighting in my videos and y'all know how the sun gets after three o'clock, okay? So quickly, I just wanna show you guys, you know, before I start to film or set up or anything, I like to lay out anything I'm gonna be using in my videos. So this is gonna be the top I'll be wearing. It's just a really cute crochet top with a bandeau under it. And then I have my jewelry laid out over here that I wanna wear. And then over here, I just have some of the products I'll be talking about in today's video. So again, I'm filming a favorites today. If you want to watch that video, it should already be up on my channel. I'll link it up here on the time card for you. And then over here, I just have my computer and I like to look at my little content planner over here. I'm not gonna show too much because I like to keep things interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I just have, you know, all my videos planned out and I like to look at my timeline and just see what I need to work on. Yeah, like I said, I'm about to set up for filming. I am gonna set up in my bedroom today. Two hours later. Woo, okay. I just got done filming and we can see the aftermath of everything so i need to clean that up and as always i'm like starving by the time i'm done filming so i just ordered some food to go pick up i got 
Steven and I some chicken Caesar salads because we've been obsessed with chicken Caesar salads lately. I'm gonna go pick that up. I changed back into my comfy clothes. I gotta clean up this mess. And I forgot, I told my boss that I would work a little overtime today. So I gotta do that at some point today. But first I'm gonna clean up. Then I need to export the footage of the video I just filmed so I can get that loading while I'm out running those errands. I gotta go drop something off at my mom's house too. These are my weekends, guys. I don't get to relax at all. I just, I go, go, go. Maybe it's the Leo in me. Maybe it's the Latina in me. <sighs> this is life. All right, let me clean. we're filming so put my hair up too because it had gotten a little frizzy outside like i told you guys it is raining i forgot there's gonna be a hurricane or something like that a hurricane or a thunderstorm babe uh, hurricane. a hurricane steven's gonna say hi to the vlog for the first time hi vlog <laughs> i've been in the background before that counts yes so if you guys want to thank anyone for me even having a channel, thank this guy right here because if it weren't for him, so many times I was so stressed out and I was like, I don't want to film today. I don't want to edit anything. I don't want to upload anything. I hate this video. <gasps> but do you want to say hi to the vlog? Yes. Say hello to the vlog, Boots. <laughs> say I'm feeling a little better now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a cute family photo. All right, so like I said, I picked us up some Caesar salads. So we get them from a diner nearby and they are just so good. So we're gonna eat and then I have to clock in because I told you guys I have to do some overtime today. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm probably gonna edit for the rest of the night. I think that's gonna be it. So I told you guys Rosie was having some digestive issues, so. One of the vets put her on this food in the meantime until we get that resolved. She's like stable today. She threw up a little bit yesterday, but so far nothing today. She's been pretty good. So hoping everything stays that way. So right now I'm giving her this uh, kibble and then I mix in a little bit of this wet food and it's like a prescription diet. So we can only get it through her vet. So far she's liking it. I was really scared she wasn't gonna want this because she's so used to having like home cooked meals. Mix it, mix it, mix it. For the baby. By the way, Lulu had her space surgery, so that's why she's not here right now. She's actually at my mom's house. So she's recovering, but she's doing really, really well. So far, I went to go see her wound today and it's looking. I like to hydrate her kibble a little bit too, just to make sure she's getting. The hydration she needs and there's rosie's dinner Yay. hello guys i actually haven't picked up the camera the last few days so today is a thursday and i think the last time i vlogged was filming day i think that was saturday it's just been a regular schmegular busy work week for me i thought we could do something fun today and just kind of rearrange my workspace if you guys don't know i do currently work from home i have a full-time nine to five 
office job in corporate banking and then I also juggle YouTube as well so YouTube is like my part-time job I've been meaning to like rearrange my workspace my office space is looking a little messy it's kind of been just not really my vibe so I thought I would move things around today and just kind of show you guys what everything ends up looking like it's not gonna be some sort of transformation even though I do want to like upgrade my work from home setup eventually so i'm quickly going to show you guys what everything is looking like right now keep in mind i do share this office space with my boyfriend so i'm going to try to keep his side of the room kind of private because i don't want to you know put his stuff on youtube i want to <laughs> respect his privacy and i'll just show you guys kind of my area of the room which pretty much takes up most of the room but that's because i work two jobs from home so yeah i'm gonna go show you guys at that right now all right, you guys, so walking in, this is pretty much what my work from home office is looking like right now. So pretty much my side of the room is from this window all the way around to the door. My setup at the moment is a mess. I honestly have been avoiding being in this room, especially when it comes to filming because we don't have an AC in here right now. We actually had one and we took it out and then we never got a new one because we figured it's like end of summer and I don't really need one up here because this fan is actually really amazing and it keeps me cool when I'm working. So essentially I just try not to film here in the summertime just because it does get hot with the extra lights. That's why I haven't spent much time in here cleaning and organizing. You can see it's kind of just a mess right now. I have some junk over there in the corner that I really, really want to get rid of and donate essentially my office space is right over here as you can see it's just i don't like facing the wall i just feel like it's so bleh my vision for the room is really to move my workstation to that corner which if you've seen my old old videos you'll know i used to have my setup over here but instead i kind of want to have the desk facing this way I kind of want to make like a little cubicle area over here just so it's nice and cozy. And then I want to move my filming area a little bit over here. And then on the corner, because we do get really nice lighting over here, I want to eventually add a nice big mirror over here. So that is pretty much what I'm envisioning with this whole office space. So what I'm going to do now is go down to the basement and go get the tabletop that goes with my Ikea drawers and try to begin setting up this area. We have a lot of work to do. I'm going to try to get this done on my lunch break. So wish me luck, you guys. Let's do it. I've done my best and my worst, learned my lessons No matter how hard my life would treat me I'd always get right back up, never worry Cause I got Right, guys so i just finished cleaning this little area over here that's pretty much where i want to build my office area so i don't know if i want to keep the rug the way it is right now or if i want to have it like long i think this is good so now i just got to decide if i want to have this set of drawers on this side or if i want to have it on this side i kind of want to have it here because i feel like it will kind of just like enclose this little area and just feel like a cozy little nook and if anything i can always put rosie's dog bed over here because she loves to be on my feet when i'm working yeah that's what i'm trying to figure out now but i think i 
think I like that more. Okay. I was gonna go down to the basement and try to get the tabletop and bring it up here to set up the workstation. But first of all, I only have like 10 minutes left on my lunch break and I really, really want a sandwich. I'm like hungry after all that cleaning. And second of all, I went downstairs to try to get the tabletop in the basement and uh, there was like a spider nearby. So I was like, yeah, no. Um, so we're gonna have to wait till Steven gets home. So I guess I'll just tackle this later on tonight once I clock out of work. Yeah, so see you guys after five. The following day. All right, you guys, I lied. It's actually the next day now. I just went on my lunch break. Since this vlog will most likely be a couple days in my life, I figured, you know, there's no need to try to do everything in one day. I sometimes forget that I'm able to break things up <laughs> during the week when I film these vlogs. So that's always nice and really, really helps with work-life balance. I just made myself an afternoon coffee. I wanted to quickly drive to Starbucks and get some pumpkin cream cold brew because it's that time of year but i just feel like you know on the way there it's just it's just gonna take too much time and i could use that time to get the office done i still had some chameleon cold brew in the fridge honestly i don't normally have afternoon coffee so that's how i know when i have a lot to get done <laughs> because you know my workload at work is kind of crazy right now i want to close as many cases as i can and just you know, be able to enjoy my weekend and not dread Monday. <laughs> I also want to get a lot of editing done after I clock out tonight and I want to get this office done. So I figured some extra bean juice wouldn't hurt. I think I have about 40 minutes before I have to go back. So let's try to finish up this office and get it done and maybe even set up before I have to clock back in. Let's see if we can do it. If we can, I'll be super impressed so steven was sweet enough to bring the tabletop up for me yesterday as you can see back there so pretty much what i want to do is just give it a good wipe down since it was in the basement but i gotta get all my equipment out of here too so let's do that guys so i just finished pretty much setting up my little office area it's not completely done and as you can see i have this whole other side of the room that i gotta focus on but i'm probably gonna do that either tomorrow or i'll try to do it after work today but i doubt it because i really really want to edit a video and get it done but i'm going to show you guys what everything looks like so far i pretty much have the layout done and now i just got to perfect it and make it really cozy but here it is. All right, guys, sorry about the fan going, but it's really hot today and <laughs> I need to stay cool up here. But this is pretty much what my little nook ended up looking like. So basically, I just added one of my shelves over here. I put my phone up there so that I could hide the cables behind it. Initially, I was going to try to fit two shelves in here, but I just thought it would be a little bit too cluttered. You know, it feels cozy enough like this. Like, I really wanted to be smart with the space that I have here. I feel like I don't need much more than this. I did add a few little um, command strips to just keep this tabletop from sliding. If you ever owned the Alex system and the tabletops, you know that this tabletop can slide around and it can be so annoying 
So I like to use little command strips on both ends to just keep the tabletop in place and that works really great for me. So then over here, I just ended up putting my laptop over here, my desktop in the middle with my little baby Yoda planter. I added some fresh white flowers faux flowers of course just to give it some decor right now but it's only temporary i figured we still have a few days of summer left i also used my little leafy uh desk pad i usually use that one for filming but i figured again since it's summer i'm just gonna use this one and then eventually i'll switch this out for like a neutral color and yeah just have my planter over here my little university certificate my trash can and then these are just some props that i gotta get rid of and move around but eventually i do want to store like some office supplies over here just you know things that i could need for organization but overall i'm really really happy with this little nook i really like it i like that i get to be next to the window i like just you know not looking at a flat wall all day i think it's just gonna be much more of like an office setting for me you guys i already am loving this space right here this little nook it just feels like perfection so like i said i'm gonna finish up the rest of my work day after this i'm probably just going to edit a video and hang out with steven i don't think i'm gonna vlog anything else later on today but i will definitely see you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is saturday and your girl doesn't work well she doesn't work this job she works her youtube job Ooh, up it. Stone cold.